Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 39, PDFs from X-Pages, Part 2, because every good screencast deserves a sequel. Okay, just a couple announcements before we get going. Uh, th first is the big one, and that's there's going to be a new cheat sheet coming to Lotusphere. Uh, last year, I helped uh, put together um, uh, a cheat sheet on beginning X-Pages, which was fairly well received. So this year, we decided to do it again. Uh, we're, the theme for this year is X pages and social tools, so it's kind of like a a little head start uh, cheat sheet on how to you know integrate Lotus Live, uh, connections, Twitter, Facebook, Dropbox, uh, things of that nature. Uh, this year, um, I I had a little less to do because because all the uh, all the content came from uh, three great IBMers, Dan O'Connor, Nicholas Heidloff, and Phil Rian. And, and I was basically just the, the formatter, which quite honestly was more than enough to do. Um, but we all worked together, and it was, a, it was a good experience to try and produce this cheat sheet. And it will be available at Lotusphere, um, wherever cheat sheets are found, um, uh, at the Lotus Technical Education booth and in a couple sessions and maybe the lab. It will also be available um, relatively soon on xpagescheatsheet.com. Now, that's the domain that I use for... The original cheat sheet and it also has uh, most of the, the the demo database most of the demos that I use for notes and nine uh, for the shows that I do um, so if you haven't seen that that site you might want to check it out uh, there's also a, a fake names database if you just want like data to play with um, and things like that so that's going to be there relatively soon okay uh, one quick notes nine thing is as I've been doing when I started notes nine it was obviously nine minutes or less, and that was basically a YouTube limitation, um, which is really where it came from, and that's no longer a factor. So a while back, I wanted to do extended shows and uh, to do some longer shows, and I started calling it Notes 9 Extended Edition. Well, with 2012 here, I'm and to try and make things a little easier, I'm going to just drop the Extended Edition name, and we're just going to call it Notes 9, whether it's whether it's nine minutes or... Or 59 minutes, you know, it, it'll just be notes of nine. Uh, probably no one really cares about that anyway. Um, but it's going to be whatever the length of, of the show that makes sense is. Um, the shows are still going to be indexed at xpages.tv. Uh, I'm going to try and get them all on there uh, relatively soon. And I'm still working to try and create a better website, which is long overdue. Okay, now on with the show, we're going to have Brian Moore come back on. And uh, Brian's been a developer for a long time, and he, he you know, he does this, this thing that this is kind of unique in that he runs this Yahoo group, um, which which does still exist. So if you want another place to go um, to try and ask some questions or meet some people with a common interest uh, that may not be as busy as the forum or maybe a little more accessible or or, or not just, you know, go over there. And um, I'm sure he'd, he'd love to see you there. There are active posters over on that that group um so stop it okay he's going to kind of continue his example from from the first show that he did um which was creating pds from x pages so basically we used an x agent um and the itext uh pro open source project to basically create a pdf uh you can get, find the original show at xpage.es slash create pdf uh, is a little shortened link. And if you haven't noticed that, we do have our own link shortener, xpag.es. So you can go there and shorten any link you want. And that application is done in X Pages by Jeremy Hodge. Um, so that's a fun little site to, to play with if you want to shorten your links. Okay, now with that being said, I'll hand it over to Brian and the demo. Hello, this is Brian Moore, and we're going to be doing a little bit more with PDFs from X Pages. I'm going to be using examples provided by Ulrich Krauss, with his permission, of course. He posted a few things after my last notes in 9, and I would suggest you take a look at his blog. It's always very interesting. We're also going to put this into an X agent, which is an X page that doesn't get rendered. Let's make a little bit more sense when we look at it. Well, let's go ahead and start with the demo. So I've cleverly given our X page the name of X agent. So let's go into that one. And you can see here in the design pane, there's nothing to see, it's just a blank area. So this is a sample 
X agent. So this is actually a place we could go and put documentation if you know we did that sort of thing a lot. Which I know we all should do and never do. The thing that actually turns an X page into an X agent is changing the rendered property. So we're going to change this rendered property, which ordinarily is the property that says show this to the browser or the client, and we're going to turn it to false so that we're no longer going to be displaying this X page, which sounds a little counterintuitive because we're not we're creating a page that we're never going to issue to the browser. But what's going to happen is we're going to put this code in the before render response. As a result, this will happen before the rendering that doesn't happen. And as you can see, this is the PDF code like we did before. We've imported the package, we're telling it it's a PDF application, we're giving it a file name. Now I got I took this directly from Ulrich Krauss's blog post and he does some work with the HTML worker. So we're going to see that in just a second. We've got our hello world text in. We're going to create a PDF table with three columns. Each of them are going to have cells that we're going to put in individually. He did a very good job with this. You put text in either through a chunk or a phrase, and here are examples of that. An example of an ordered list. Here's an anchor where you can set the anchor in, and there would be a hand and a link out to that. Or if you want to use HTML to do something like that, you can put in a string, use your HTML worker to put this directly into the PDF. Now, before we take a look at this in the browser, Let's do a bit with fonts. So we're going to create another bear, and this one's going to be called font because we're going to deal with fonts. And one of the things that I've been doing is just copying the fully qualified name from the appy when I'm doing this. And a font factory is a Java method that does a fair amount of the work behind this. So I'm not going to go into detail on that one, but we're going to create, we're going to get the font called Times Roman, which is a common standard one and is part of the default package. And we're going to put that directly in our PDF. So we're going to do this exactly as we've done before. I'm just going to create a paragraph and a little bit of text in there so we can recognize it. And when you change the font like this, you put in the paragraph, you do a comma, and then you do the variable that is holding your font. So here we are like that. We're going to be able to save and build this. So let's take a look and see what this looks like in the browser. So now what we're going to do is go to our browser. We're going to trigger our X agent by clicking a button that brings up this unrendered page. It's going to bring up a PDF. And we're going to see exactly what we put together. A hello world text, a table, a chunk, and a phrase. There's a change in font. There's an ordered list. We will even have a couple of links. One that's put in as an anchor, the other one that's put in through the HTML. And if we click on this, it will take us to the web page that's linked to it. So this is exactly what we expected. All right, that's good. So now that we've done that with a simple font, let's do this by bolding it. And I'm going to copy this block because we're going to replace it. We're going to do something slightly different. I'm going to change this var since we're not supposed to have two vars with the same name. That would be bad coding. I'm going to leave the Times New Roman. I'm going to give it a point size. And I'm also going to grab this as a bold, which we're going to need to do like this. So this will create a bold font, and we're going to change this to use that bold font. And we'll be able to see this in our browser as soon as we do our save and our build. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to come back to our browser, try our X agent again, and we're going to see the one line change that we've made. So we are able to very quickly and easily modify these PDFs so you can get some very quick, rapid application development done. So there you are. One of the things you can do with an X agent is have it open directly from a previous one using the simple action to open document and then have the target document be the same note stock as what you're currently at. I'm using that right now 
and taking information people are entering into a couple of X pages on the screen and generating up a PDF based on what they're telling us. It looks very slick and it's almost ready to be rolled out. Well, that's it. Thank you. Have a good day and happy coding. And that's the demo. Thanks a lot, Brian. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on. This is great information and I look forward to having you on again. If you have any questions for me, here's my information and I thank you for your time.